Most self-improvement videos that you watch tell you to go to the gym, to read or to start meditating. But what if you don't wanna do these things? What if you want to improve your life, but in a different way? In this video, I'm gonna share with you 50 self-improvement ideas you can implement today. And a lot of these ideas I can guarantee that you would have never heard of. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so that you don't miss any. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first one is to pursue your childhood dreams. What stopped you from pursuing them when you were younger? What's stopping you from pursuing them now? It's never too late. Learn about sound frequencies and how certain frequencies can affect you positively or negatively. A good starting point here is solfeggio frequencies. Get into dream journaling. This is learning how to remember your dreams better, writing them down so that you can learn better about yourself and about how your mind actually works. Learn how to cook nutritious meals. This can benefit you and your family. And one of the most satisfying things that you can do is cook food for your family that they love, but is also healthy for them. Get into biohacking. If you don't know what biohacking is, it's basically just little things that you can do in your life on a daily basis that can massively improve your health and well-being. Things like putting, using blue light blocking glasses, for example. Drink herbal teas and learn about which herbs can benefit your life in different ways. Some teas can help you improve your sleep, some can help you with anxiety, some can help you with your gut health. Study hand mudras. These are hand gestures that have been used for many centuries for things like healing and meditation. They can help with your physical and mental well-being and is a great little gem for self-improvement. You might have seen Andrew Tate doing this thing. That's a hand mudra. Learn origami. This is something that I used to do when I was younger. I used to make these little ninja stars and these transforming ninja stars that I'd sometimes sell to my friends. This is good because it can be very therapeutic for you, almost meditation-like. Travel. Explore the true beauty that the world has to offer and just open your mind to so many different life perspectives. And if you can't afford to travel, I'm sure there's so much of your own country that you live in that you haven't explored yet. Study feng shui and how the position of certain objects in your room can affect your mood and happiness. Join a sports team. Learn about the power of numerology for more insight into your life path and purpose. Experiment with mirror gazing for introspection and self-awareness. Study the hell out of AI and get ahead of the curve whilst it's still relatively new. And you never know, you might be able to create a career out of it. Experiment with binaural beats for enhanced creativity and concentration. Find a mentor or role model who can help guide and inspire you to level up. Keep a journal or diary to document all your feelings, your thoughts, your desires and fears. This is going to help you to learn more about yourself. Instead of trying to drink four litres of tap water a day, how about you learn about how to increase the quality of your water? For me, the key here is quality over quantity. Reach out to more of your friends and family that you don't speak to that much. We are social creatures after all. Practice listening to people rather than speaking so much. The way that you learn the best is when you shut up and you listen. Even if you don't agree with everything that someone says, there's always something that you can learn from them. Volunteer for a cause that you care about. This is such an easy way to improve your overall fulfillment and happiness in your life. Improve your sleeping habits by actually developing a sleep routine and getting up and going to sleep at the exact same time every single day. Try out a bunch of different sports or activities to find one that you like. Here's some examples. Ice skating, roller skating, swimming and rock climbing. Spend some time creating a vision board with all of your goals and desires on it. This is something I see a lot of girls do. Whilst it benefits them, it can also benefit us guys as well. Develop a morning routine that you actually like and can stick to, not waking up at 4.30 a.m. doing a two hour jog and then working out for three hours and then working for four hours on your business. Jump in the deep end and sign up for a marathon, train like crazy and just see how you do. Go on a two to three day trip somewhere away from home and try not to use your phone as much as possible and only use your phone for like messaging your family. Take a first aid course or learn some emergency first aid skills at home. You never know, you might save someone's life with this. Spend some time sitting down writing your perfect life vision. What would your life look like in five years if everything went perfectly for you? Go to your local hiking or walking spot either by yourself or with a family or friend and just go for a long walk. Trust me, this is so therapeutic, especially when the sun's out. Start stacking up a rainy day fund. This is literally just a separate bank account that you put to the side for a rainy day. So if anything goes wrong in your life or you have an emergency, you've always got money there to make sure you and your family can get through things. Learn a language and then go to the country to put it into practice or just to show it off. I've always wanted to do this with Japanese. I know I know a little bit of Japanese, but I'll get there one day. Go to self-defense classes. I think this skill is something that is invaluable to men and women, especially in this modern day. There's so many creepy, weird people out there. It's definitely a good skill to have in your arsenal. Learn to show up every single day. If you can become one of those people that show up even when they don't feel like it, in whatever endeavor you're trying to pursue, success will be inevitable. Read a book and actually study the book. I've said this a million times before, but so many people just read a book and then put it away and don't understand or don't remember anything that they read from that book. So what you need to do is read the book, Highlight stuff, make notes, make more notes, read those notes and learn them and actually implement them into your life. Go camping. This is something that I really want to do. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Maybe I'll do it in the next few months. Deep clean and declutter your bedroom. Your bedroom is probably filled with years and years and years worth of just clutter that's just built up over such a long period of time. How do you feel when your room is completely clean? I bet you feel amazing. So why don't you spend a whole entire weekend just clearing out your whole entire room 
throwing away things that you don't need anymore just to make yourself feel better. Join a community of like-minded individuals. In the real world, we find it quite hard to find others that sort of share our interests. So the best way that you can do this is to join a community of people that have the same interests as you. Talking about that, we have our own self-improvement Discord. Link for that will be in the description below. Do something that scares you. Try and grow your own herbs or vegetables using non-GMO seeds. Start a YouTube channel, theme page or TikTok. I've been able to work for myself and help look after my family since I was like 17, 18 from my rap theme page. So if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can do it too. Write a book. Imagine you can tell your own story with your own characters in whatever world you want. I went through this phase when I would write stories when I was a little kid and it was fun. It, was, it just allowed you time to be away from your phone and just let your creativity reign free. And if you like your story that much and you think it's good enough, you can pay a little bit of money to publish it into a real book. You don't have to sell it or anything, literally just have it as your own one of one book. List a bunch of questions you have about the world or universe and try and spend some time trying to find the answers to them. Create a Spotify playlist of songs that actually make you feel good. None of this sad rap stuff, music that actually makes you feel good. Try out a completely different hairstyle that you've never done before and see if it improves the way you look. If you don't have access to a gym, why don't you get into calisthenics? It's free and you can build a crazy physique and strength doing this. Set yourself the challenge of doing something that will improve your life for 100 days straight. This is exactly what I'm doing with my YouTube channel, uploading every single day for 100 days to see where I'll end up. Start a physical business. Everywhere in the online world, people are telling you to start this next new best online business in 2023 when we still live in the real world and real world businesses are always going to be a thing. You can still make a crazy living from things like landscaping, e-bike rentals or tent rentals for events. Learn how to meal prep to make eating healthier and achieving your fitness goals way easier and way less time consuming. And finally, number 50 is to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn how to live your best life. I hope you've been able to find out a few things on this list that you can try out on your own self-improvement journey. I know there's a few things on here that I'm definitely going to try out. Let me know in the comments which of these ideas you like the most and if you want me to make a full guide on any of them. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out.